Hey everyone, welcome back to our DC News. This is episode 8, and today we have some interesting reports coming out that Josh Brolin, the man who played Thanos in the MCU, has been offered the role of Hal Jordan, aka Green Lantern, in the DCU. This is a very surprising choice if true, so let's break it down. So, this report comes from Nexus Point News, who is a hit and miss news outlet, so I would take this with a pinch of salt. However, this has also been backed up by the In Snyder, so maybe it is true. Nexus Point News has said, We have exclusively learned that Josh Brolin has been offered the role of Green Lantern Hal Jordan in DC Studios HBO series Lanterns. This version of the character is described as a lantern legend and will be a veteran member of the core. White actors in their 40s and 50s were being looked at for this role until it was determined that Brolin was the top choice for the role of Hal Jordan. DCU Leaks exclusively reported over a year ago that Hal Jordan would be a veteran lantern and Jon Stewart would be a rookie. It is important to note that although Brolin has been offered the role, it is uncertain whether or not he'll accept it. If he were to turn down the offer, they will move down their shortlist to the next option. So the obvious concern most have with this decision is the age. He is 56, and many see that as the wrong age for Hal Jordan, and based on my limited knowledge of Green Lantern, I would agree. But like DCU Leaks reported over a year ago, Hal Jordan is being planned to be a veteran in this story, and Jon Stewart would be the rookie. So, Brolin's age would be more appropriate for a Hal Jordan that has been around for a while and needs to teach Jon Stewart the ropes. So, with that being the case, I don't think Brolin's age becomes too much of a concern. I have never seen Hal be the veteran and Jon be the rookie, so this would be a refreshing take for me. But with Brolin being 56 and with the DCU having at least a 10 year plan, that can be a bit disappointing for those of you wanting him round for a long time time in the franchise, as in 10 years time, Brolin would be 66, and you can't really imagine a Hal Jordan being that old. But maybe they think he can do that. I saw Aaron Fisher saying that the Justice League will have too much of an age difference for this to work, but I disagree. Who's to say Hal Jordan will be the Green Lantern of the Justice League? Just like in the animated series, why can't it be Jon Stewart that is a part of the League? His age would be closer to that of Superman, and I assume assume other Justice League members too. And even if Hal Jordan is older and in the Justice League, so what? The DCEU's Batman was much older than the DCEU Superman, Flash, and Cyborg, yet he works really well in the Justice League. But at the same time, Batman wasn't going to be around for much longer in that story. So does this potentially hint at Hal Jordan not being a major role in the DCU? That can be a concern for those of you who wanted to see a lot of Hal Jordan, but I wouldn't get ahead of ourselves just yet. I get being nervous for the DCU or not believing Gunn is the right guy for the job, but I don't think now is the right time to worry about this. It's been reported for about a year that they want Hal Jordan to be an older Green Lantern and for Jon Stewart to be the younger one of the two. So this isn't really a surprise in terms of age. As for the actor picked, I get thinking he doesn't really fit the role. He wouldn't have been one of my choices, but I do think he is a great actor, so I do think he could do a good job in the role, he just wouldn't be one of my choices. But so many actors have been cast as characters and fans have gone, oh I don't think they're the right person for the character, and then once they watch them in the movie, they completely change how they feel. I'm not saying people can't be sceptical of this, but let's not go full blown, it's the end of the world. It's a rumour first and foremost, but even if it is true, he may end up being really good. We never would have seen Heath Ledger as Joker or Ben Affleck as Batman if directors listened to fans' reactions for casting choices. People criticised Gunn for casting Corrin Sweat as Superman, as they claimed he was just listening to Twitter fans. People criticised him for casting Skylar Gisondo as Jimmy Olsen, as he was the safe option. And now people are criticising this casting choice as being so far out there. People will criticise any choice he makes, so I'm not going to take any notice of the same people complaining about every decision made. I've also 
also seen criticisms of how Hal Jordan being that old at the start of the DCU is a bad thing, as they are meant to have a 10 year plan, and yeah, I can see why that may seem like a bad choice, but it clearly has a storytelling purpose. Everything in the DCU is being planned out thoroughly, so this choice would be for a purpose as well. And with the DCU starting with superheroes existing already, it's very likely that we will see prequel stories telling stories of the older characters from when they were younger. This isn't like the old regime that just greenlights random projects whenever they feel like it. DC Studios has created a long-term plan, so everything is created for a reason, and every casting choice or design choice is on purpose. We may not know what that reason is yet, but that's the beauty of this DCU. We get to find out in all the new movies and shows that are connected and well planned out ahead of time. So let's just have a little bit of patience and not go full-blown panic mode just just yet. I get the skepticism, and I share that too. And it may be a bad casting choice, but right now we don't know. This is still just a rumour, and even if it is true, we don't know if Brolin has accepted the offer. I think he is a very good actor, and I think he would do well in the role, even if he wasn't my first, or second, or even third choice for the role. But I'm hoping that if he is picked for the role, he does a great job. As I tend to say quite a lot now on the channel, time will tell. But that is all for today's episode of our DC News. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload. I hope to see you here again next episode, so until then, I hope you have a great week. Bye!